Hi YouTube, let's create a LeBron James vector portrait in Adobe Illustrator. Using the pen tool, start by creating the left side of the face. I will start with the nose and then move on to the eye and finish with the mouth area. Once completed, let's select the lines and curve them a little bit by using the Direct Selection tool. If you notice lines overlapping, you can use a Shape Builder tool in order to clean them up. For a full in-depth beginner Shape Builder tool tutorial, check out the link in my video description. Alright, we can select all and activate the Mirror Reflect tool. Option or Alt click in the middle and a pop-up box will come up. Make sure to have Vertical selected and confirm by clicking on Copy. Now let's join some paths and create some shapes with the use of the Shape Builder tool. Select the facial hair and the eyebrows and replace the stroke for a black fill. Following these steps, continue creating the rest of his face. We will do his hair, ears, beard and finish off with the neckline. Remember to only work on the left side as you will mirror it later on. Before we add the color, let's trace out on a different layer where the shadows will be. Using the pen tool and thinner stroke, I will just follow the sketch template that I created. Remember to always close off your shapes so that it's easier to apply the colors later on. Now let's apply the base colors. Select all from the outline layer and duplicate it to the color layer. Hold Option or Alt on your keyboard to duplicate. On the color layer, select all and activate the Live Paint Bucket tool. With the color fill, click and select each individual shape and assign the base color.
Once done that, head to the Object menu and expand. Right-click and ungroup, select the outline and delete it. Go back to the Layers panel and unhide the outline layer to reveal all of our facial features. Finally, to add the shadows and the highlights, turn on the shadow layer. Select the shapes, remove the stroke, and apply the colors from the swatches panel to the shapes to create the shadows and highlights. Finish off the illustration by adding color to the neck and to the eyes. And there you have it. This is how to create a simple vector portrait in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and see you in the next video. Cheers everyone.